Hello, today um, we're going to tie another great fly. This is a dry fly. Um, this is going to be tied in a size 18 here. Um, so I have some ADOT green thread, like an olive green, a little lighter than olive um, material. Let's talk about that quickly. We're going to need some Dun Hackle in the appropriate size. This is a parachute. Um, style fly so it can be like a 16 hackle 18 hackle is a little hard to get hold of now we're going to need some white elk or deer this is some elk hair that I harvested this season okay so we got a size standard 18 dry fly hook just tie in your thread right like that only cover half of the shank roughly move up to a two-thirds point. You, you're going to want to be at about two eyes in front of the eye. And then just stack a small clump of your uh, white deer or elk hair. One that didn't want to stack, right? The bundle should be about as thick as your bopkin. Uh, see this tube right here? should be about as thick as that um, for an 18, 16, a little thicker. You're going to want the length of your parachute stem about as long as your hook shank. So just do two wraps and then do a third and a fourth just moving back. So you're just going to hold all these tips with your fingertips, take your scissors and cut those butts off at an angle. and I cut some shorter than another just to build up a good taper I'm just going to really cinch down my thread and the butts will flare a little just wind your thread down to right above the barb then you're just going to take these butts that didn't want to cooperate you're just going to trim them your body first fly is just going to be your green thread it's not a real fancy fly but it's a very productive fly uh, and you can switch out the colors of the materials to imitate various types of mayflies or duns or uh, really any type of insect so have a pretty good body there, doesn't have to be that neat these are pretty much disposable flies so you're just gonna wrap a couple in front of your uh, deer hair or elk hair and then you're gonna wrap around creating sort of like a parachute hackle or, yeah parachute stem when you wrap around you're gonna pull to flare it this is gonna help with uh, seeing the fly this is a very high visibility fly. This is also going to look like the wind of your mayfly or dun. And you're just going to trim off a straggler there. Okay, move your thread right in front of the eye and select a hackle. This is a medium dun. You could use a darker dun or, or even a lighter, or you could use a blue dun. I'm just going to strip off the stem there. Tie that in right in front of the eye. And just wrap it around the base a couple of times with your uh, deer or elk hair. Now you're just going to wrap your hackle in a parachute style. You can use some parachute hackle pliers. But my hackle is long enough uh, for my cape that I just grab onto it. So uh, my scissors hit the floor there. So you're gonna want about five to six turns. You want this pretty, uh, pretty well hackled. Not as much hackled as you would a standard dry fly. Um. 
be, you want a fair amount of hackle. Um, just to uh, give it a lot of buoyancy. This is pretty much for fishing in somewhat rough water. So, just tied off your hackle there. Hopefully, you guys saw how I did that. Next, you're just going to take your pointer and your thumb finger and just stroke all those hackle and wind post fibers back to create a head of green. And I'm not going to do whip finish on this one. I'm just going to take my pointer finger here and then I'm just going to loop my thread under the eye and put my bobkin I'll zoom out I'm just going to put my bobkin through this loop of thread and do that another time this creates somewhat of like a whip finish sort of like a half hitch you could say except you don't have to cut your thread so now you're just going to trim off your thread that didn't interfere at all with your hackle. So you're going to turn on its side. You're going to want it facing towards you on this one. And you're just going to apply head cement to all the back or underneath this guy. So I'm going to tilt it down just a little. I have to duck here. So just Just put your head cement all under there. And this is actually super good. This will make a very tough body. This fly can be tied in all sizes. Standard parachute, very easy to tie. I first saw it in a fly shop out in Yellowstone, Montana, and parts of Wyoming, and uh, just decided it was a good pattern. I uh, caught a lot of fish on it, so made up my own version, a little simpler than the original but no tail looks very much like a mayfly to the fish very bulletproof very good fly and uh... thanks for joining me hope this fly works for you